So today we're going to be talking about art styles and as you can see I finally decided to try out a new hairstyle which is why I chopped off my hair. But in this video we're going to be talking about art styles and the obsession as to why artists are so interested to either know what their art styles are or how to find their art style. And it actually is a lot easier than you may think. I feel like a lot of artists nowadays are struggling to find out what their voice is, what their brand is, what their style is these words are sometimes interchangeable but they will all ultimately help you better understand yourself as an artist and what sets you apart from others so to get straight to the point as to how you find your art style that can simply be done by just making a list of all of your top favorite artists start writing down the different things about what you like about each of these artists and after you make these lists hold up your art against their their artwork and see the similarity. Circle the things that you wrote down under your favorite list of artists that truly resonated or paralleled, mirrored what you see in your artwork. For example, for me, I am a comic artist slash story artist working in the animation industry and I recently came out with my very first graphic novel, Mish the Bad Demon. So Mish the Bad Demon is a middle grade book and ultimately the art style that pretty much influenced me to create this graphic novel is a summation of my many influences from childhood which are primarily from anime with a mixture of some western styles like Disney or some cartoons on Cartoon Network but primarily the ones that I could think of off the top of my head would be like Rumiko Takahashi, Studio Trigger, specifically Little Witch Academia and Kill a Kill, Panty and Stocking, Disney in its more CG Renaissance era, The Powerpuff Girls, and those are just to list a few of them. I've also been inspired by a lot of shoujo manga when I was growing up and a lot of shonen as well. But in general, I would say I was primarily influenced by mixtures of anime and Western style. But prior to creating Mish, I've had a series of times where I was able to practice discovering what my art style is and for those of you who don't know what your art style is you might have to do stuff like do a lot of exploration and experimentation so you might have a list of favorite artists but no matter what you do your art just kind of turns out like a blob and that's okay it's not bad to not have an art style so for me when I did not know what my art style was I just allowed myself to do whatever I wanted and draw what naturally came to me. I was posting comics on Instagram which are now in the form of self-published zines. They are available on Etsy for you to purchase if you would like to see them all in a cohesive physical form. But the reason why I'm showing you my comics of the past isn't just so that you know I can increase my sales or anything but it is also to know that for me to find my art style in certain phases of my life I had to allocate a certain project for that art style to kind of take shape because I feel like a lot of the times artists just want to have an art style for the sake of an art style and that's great. However, there's going to be probably different moments, different instances, different projects where it's going to call for a different part of you. And that's why I think during your exploration part of finding your art style, you should take note of what are the things that you like from each artist, circle those elements that you like, and try to incorporate and merge them all into one single character, one single illustrated scene or just something that allows you to draw all of the things that you circled from the list that you liked and just really keep practicing keep repeating drawing in that style in your sketchbook until you feel like you can just draw this naturally without having to really think too deep about it but another technique i really recommend to find your art style is to just straight up copy the artist's style and just draw the things they have done before and i will say that tracing and copying copying other artists works is very controversial and it is not good to copy people's artwork and claim it as yours. That is not something that you should be doing and that is not something I am promoting on this channel. However, I'm saying that you shouldn't feel shameful about just trying to copy and observe 
artists works just to learn from them and if you do feel like sharing it online just simply provide the credit and make it clear that this is just an observational drawing that you're using to practice with but again the one thing i will caution a lot of artists with who might fall into this trap is that it's not usually the best to just only draw one style as your only thing i wouldn't narrow your abilities only to this one type of style and if you're able to try to broaden things and draw other things so that if for some other reason you really need to pivot and get on this other project you want to start something new or you want to sell different types of artwork you're able to without a problem and if you would like to hear more about my thoughts on how some people just draw pretty girls only as their only art style, please check out my videos, The Ugly Truth About Drawing Pretty Girls and Toxic Things I Hate About the Art Community, where I kind of talk more about the idea of just drawing one thing as your only thing, because it can be limiting, especially for those who are trying to pursue an art career at the end of the day. But here's the thing that I find to be a problem or kind of a missing piece in a lot of videos or information out there for art styles or the topic of art styles, which is what do you do with that art style after you found it? But I feel like the thing I personally am missing as an artist that's on social media is finding out what is the purpose for this art style or where is this art style gonna best thrive for an idea you might have because for me it was just always like okay cool you know how to draw like the powerpuff girls now now what so please note that in this upcoming section i'm going to be listing where i feel like certain art styles may best thrive like career wise or what type of projects they might best thrive in but note that these are generalizations and that there are going to be exceptions to these things that i'm listing so don't mind me as i refer to some notes on my phone so first i'm gonna start off with fine arts slash realism and it doesn't really matter what medium this is in because the people who are going to you for this type of artwork is usually because you're able to render realism pretty well so if you're fine arts artist and you focus more on people and subjects, some of the things that your art might thrive the best in are portrait commissions of people and animals, galleries, prints, illustrators or painters for projects that need realism like murals, tattoo artists or a tattoo art designer, or even book covers. If you're a fine arts artist that maybe focuses more on like backgrounds, environments, landscapes, maybe your art might thrive best in background painter roles, visual development for animated shows or feature films, art galleries, home decor commissions, or even prints because I've definitely seen a lot of beautiful landscape paintings hung in people's homes, but you don't really see like random paintings of people's faces in people's homes unless if it's like usually more vintage or something like that. Then moving on from that, we're going to take a big jump into the Western cartoony world where I feel like there's many different branches to the Western cartoons and there's definitely a goofy, humorous adult side. And for those types of art styles, you might better be suited in a storyboard artist or character designer role for more either legacy cartoon shows like SpongeBob, The Simpsons, any adult comedy shows that have been around for a long time and usually those are the projects where I still kind of see these more western cartoony styles that are more on the goofy side still existing but as I see more new shows come out they're leaning more towards anime which I will discuss later. There's also being a comic strip artist for maybe newspapers or if you just want to publish a book with standalone comics doing caricature art commissions, or even doing Western animation. So like the legacy shows I mentioned, maybe you could be an animator for one of them. Although those types of roles are now more outsourced to Asia, so I don't know. But I do feel like Western cartoons are kind of a little bit on their way out. And the only way that they're still kind of existing is either through CG animated feature films or in a mixture with somewhat more anime-like styles. And there's another side to Western cartoons like Disney style or kind of a more wholesome style I'll say I don't really know how else to describe it but some places where your art could probably really do well in if this is your art style is as a storyboard artist or character
character designer for bigger name studios in Los Angeles like DreamWorks, Pixar, Disney, and a lot of other smaller feature film studios that are kind of emerging as of lately. There are even some in Europe, I think. You could also try to attempt for being a 2D animator or CG animator if that is something that you're interested in. And you can even try being a picture book illustrator or a graphic novel author and illustrator, just like I was with Mish. So then moving next, we're going to move to the Eastern styles or anime or anime influence because I feel like this is definitely more popular as of lately. So if you're a digital artist or you do digital drawing slash illustrations, but it's not like they're fully painted, you're kind of more like you do line art and then you just shade in with flat coloring, you might be better suited for a storyboard artist or a character designer role for newer shows or films that are coming out in the animation industry. I feel like a lot of animated shows nowadays like actually take a lot from anime. I can say so myself as a storyboard artist working on a variety of shows, but no matter what show I've worked on, people are starting to really dig in like the anime approach to their storyboards, whether if it's through camera, action, or even emotion and drama. You could also probably storyboard or do some character art for games or game cinematics or some character art if they're on the less painterly side, if you're not a painter. Or again, you could probably also do character designing for a game. You could also, again, try to create your own graphic novel or just post your comics on webtoons or social media. You could try being a freelance illustrator. Or again, you can try to be a 2D or CG animator if that's of your interest. Then moving on to digital paintings that are still more in that anime influenced world. You could either try for concept art, visual development, or even try to be a character artist for again video games or be a freelance illustrator, or you can do prints and posters. And for both, ultimately, I think you can also do character or OC commissions. So then moving on to like more of a minimalistic design or even abstract type of art style, which I feel like is so cool that we're seeing a lot of these artists emerge lately, is that I noticed that a lot of these artists go more independent, run their own shops and small businesses. So if you are an artist that does do this style, you could do prints, stickers, stationery, you could make your own merch, you could also work as a designer or graphic designer in a bigger studio or company. You could also be an illustrator, whether if that's in studio or freelance motion graphics if the animation portion is of interest to you. You could also design books because I work with a book designer for Mish and although she's not the one that draws the characters, she still has a great sense of art and design that allows me to compose the book in an aesthetic way or create wall art and home decor for people because I feel like these types of artworks usually look good in people's homes. And then lastly, I'll say is you could also do maximalism or more detail oriented illustrations, which is kind of the opposite of the one that I mentioned, although I do feel like there are a lot of overlaps. But I will say if you are someone who's a lot more detail oriented in your illustrations, you may thrive as a tattoo artist or a tattoo art designer. There's also freelance illustrators, book designers, cover designers. You can also try for motion graphics, although I don't know how it's gonna be like animating a lot of different components. And I would also consider graphic novels murals and posters because I feel like the bigger the art, the more fun it will be to look at all of the details in them. And although I listed types of careers or projects that these types of different types of art styles might thrive the best in, ultimately I feel like with all of them, you can still do things like commissions, teaching people, running an online shop, running an online brand on social media, and creating some sort of product. It just all depends on how you choose to utilize your style for each type of listed opportunity. And if you don't know how to do these things, like starting your own brand or social media presence to then see where that might eventually take your art, check out these videos where I talk about how I manage or run my social media platforms or how to grow your social media platforms. And 
And hopefully with that, this video gives you some more clarification on not just how to find your art style, but also knowing what to do with your art style now that you've gained the ability to adapt to certain other artists' art styles and how you can even switch your art style around to suit other projects better. So it's really up to you what you wanna do at the end of the day, but just know that if you're able to do multiple things and kind of learn different types of art styles, you can adapt to each one if you ever need to really pivot. If you would like to ever receive feedback on your art or even join our exclusive community, join our Patreon here, list it down in the links below. I hope to see you there. And with that, I'll see you all in the next one.